What's up everybody, it's Goose. I'm gonna give y'all an update on the turkeys today. Um, these two loudmouths, these are my, my toms. Uh, and I got a little trio of uh, I am Samani chickens in here with them. Um, so this is the first time I've uh, got them to hatch any baby turkeys. Um, I had a trio of turkeys before and they they made a nest and started sitting on them but they never hatched anything um the first time it was on my boss's property and uh hope y'all can hear me over all this uh but uh on my boss's property they were kind of free range and they went to my neighbor's property my boss's neighbor's property and uh because he had really thick grass they actually went and made nests under some old uh old lawn mowers uh which i let i let the guy know he didn't care um but anyway uh since they were next door they didn't have any protection from predators um so a few weeks in something ate one of them um so at that point i i took the other one off her nest and brought her back home uh and then the year after that i brought them two them two turkeys out here <laughs> Uh, my Tom and my hen, and uh, I still got two puppies. I gotta show y'all since over here barking at me. Every, everybody wants something from me right now. I, I don't know if y'all gonna be able to hear me. Sorry if you can't. Um, but I, I brought them two turkeys here, and uh, they were they were really just kind of free range in this whole backfield. Um, I didn't have all these all these pins up uh so the turkey hen she chose to make her nest um just past the property line over there which uh that's just hunting land that uh he never uses he he comes out here maybe once a year to look at it um but anyway she was on the neighbor's property but it wasn't hurting anything so i left her alone uh but she made a nest somewhere over here, just on the other side of the fence, where my dogs couldn't protect her. Uh, so something ate her. Uh, and at that point, I figured there was no point of having them, and I sold my turkey tom, which I always like the toms a lot more than the hens. They're pretty neat. They crack me up. You know, they just walk around and do this all day. They're characters. Uh, so anyway, I've tried to hatch turkeys, but it hasn't, it hasn't worked out for me. This is ridiculous. Jeez. I should have cut a tree down before I made this video so they'd leave me alone. Golly. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's see if they'll be quiet long enough for me to do this. I think when I start talking is when they start yelling. <laughs> Maybe if I talk quietly. Um... So, like I said, I got two toms, and I have four hens over here. Um, so what happened is, uh, two of the hens started laying in this little igloo doghouse. Um, and then one of them started sitting, and then the other one started sitting like a week later. And they're, they're kind of mean. They definitely seem mean. They've, they've bit me, and they bite a lot harder than chickens. Um... So, I'll try to keep that out. There's a little hole in the top of this house that's letting the sunlight through. Um, darn it. Okay. Uh, so she started, one of them started sitting and then the other one started sitting like a week later. And, uh, I couldn't tell how many eggs they were sitting on. But it seemed like a lot because there was always eggs coming out from the edges of them and stuff. Uh, but I couldn't really tell because, like I said, they're mean and they're big. Um, so I just left them alone. Um, come to find out, they were sitting on like 30-something turkey eggs and like uh, 10 I am Samani eggs. Uh, one of them I am Samani hens was going in here and laying with the turkeys. Uh, so, uh, you know, once the once they started sitting and the incubation process started, I mean, there wasn't much I could do with them, so I just left them alone. Um, 
like I said, I think they I think they hatched uh, nine turkeys, and then they they came out the next afternoon after they started hatching, and they uh, walked around that day, and then they sat back on the nest. Uh, so I was hoping they'd hatch some more, but then the next day they left the nest uh, all together. Um, and I, I wasn't sure what to do. Um, so I didn't do anything that day. I was hoping maybe they'd just sit on that night and maybe hatch some more. I knew there was a good chance they wouldn't hatch anything. Uh, you know, because they, they'd they been left alone. Uh, so... Uh, they wasn't hatching anymore the next day, so I took the, uh, there was like 10 I am Samani eggs under there. Um, so I took them eggs because I really wanted something to hatch out of those. Uh, and I have two more turkeys sitting over here. And same thing, both of them been laying in here. One of them started sitting about a week ago. And then the the red one I can tell a difference here over there they were the same color um, so she started sitting and then like a week later just a few days ago she started sitting um, so I took the I am Samani eggs and I put them under them as you can see there's one right there in the middle that small little tan egg um, and uh, two days ago I came out here and they hatched one um, I guess they're only going to hatch one because uh, it's, like I said, it's been two days and the other eggs haven't hatched, uh, which I'm going to check under them and make sure. Uh, but yeah, they hatched one of the I am Samani's. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that, which I'll show y'all uh, that chick in a minute. Um, so after I put these eggs under here, there was still like 15 turkey eggs over there in that igloo house. Um, so what I did is I took one of the hens and I put her in a, a small little pen, uh, with chicken wire so the, the turkeys couldn't get out because baby turkeys are real small and they can, it's easier for them to get out. So I took all the baby turkeys and put them over there and then I just left this hen over here and she just automatically started sitting on this nest again. Um. Which it's been a few days and she hasn't hatched anything, so I'm probably about to get rid of these eggs. They're, you know, they probably went bad. Um, but out of doing that, at least I did get the one I am Samani to hatch. Uh, but um, I think if I would have acted quicker, I maybe could have got more to hatch. Um, so that's good to know for next time. Uh, when these guys when they hatch um like the day that they hatch as soon as they come out of that house um i'm gonna take one of the hens and i'm gonna put them in this little pen i got these other ones in and then i'll leave the other one here and hopefully she'll hatch the other eggs um but we'll see how that goes uh like i said this is my first time hatching them uh so i'm learning but uh that 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 seems like it would have worked if i would have done it quicker um I just I didn't have this pen ready I had to I had to make a little pen real quick um, so there's the pen over there and I'm gonna, we're gonna go look at those real quick so this is my turkey uh, my baby turkey pen um, I gotta show y'all real quick there's chicks riding on her back <laughs> a bunch of flies over here because of the poop I I move this thing two or three times a day I know it's small but um that's all I had. The only way I could keep them turkeys in is with the chicken wire. So, um, it's just an IBC tote cage, uh, one of those uh, water tanks or liquid tanks, whatever. Um, but it's a cage off of one of those. I put chicken wire on the inside and wired it in there. Um, I took a shade cloth and put it over the top of it and zip tied it on there. Uh, and like I said, I, I took one of the turkey hens and uh, let me step over here. I took the turkey hen and I put her in here with the baby turkeys. Um, and half of those babies aren't turkeys. Um, I bought some chicks at co-op 
like the day after I put her over here and I figured she'd take care of them and uh, I put them in here I think it's 10 um, but I put them in here and she's been taking care of them just fine um, which this is a small space for her um, the only reason she's been in there to, is to keep them warm uh, she's been in there about a week and uh, the low for like the next week or so is only gonna be like uh, 60 or 70 I think yeah 60 is gonna be the low for the next week um, so it'll be fine with her out her so I'm about to take her out of there and put her back in the turkey pen um, okay so that brings me and I, mean, I got I had to use just I had to cut a, the bottom off of a coffee can because I needed something real short uh, water bowls so they couldn't drown themselves uh, so there's that and then I got a jug of water over here so I can uh, fill it up every time I move this and then there's their their chick feed um, so she's about to be moved out of there um, which brings me to these guys um, the little tiny black chick is the I am Samani that hatched um, so this was kind of the last I, I didn't have anything I could do I just had to put them in here for uh, they've been in here for two days um, I tried to put that I, I realized that turkey probably wasn't going to hatch any turkey eggs so I tried to put this I am Samani under her and let her take care of it uh, but she went to attack it um, and this thing hatched like five or six days after all the rest of them so after that turkey didn't take it I tried to put it under this turkey and uh, she all puffed up and was acting mean so I had to take it out of there um, then I, I got some some other chicks they're about a month old um, I bought them recently. I haven't showed y'all them yet. Um, but I tried to put it with them because they were they were small birds. They were barely bigger than these turkeys. Uh, and immediately one of them, you know, went and started looking at it and then picked it up and went to attack it. So that didn't work either. So I put it in this tote by itself. And, I, um, you know, I was just going to keep it on my porch for a few days. Um... And I put it in the tote for a few hours, and it, it just cried the whole time. Uh, so I realized I had to give it a friend. Um, so I got two baby turkeys to put in here with it to um, <laughs> keep it company and keep it warm. Uh, and that's worked out. Uh, last night was pretty warm, but the night before, uh, I kept them in this tote, which... I usually would put wood shavings in here, but I don't have any, so it's, you know, temporary. They're about to get moved out of it. Um, so, uh, last night was warm. The night before, I put a, a heat lamp over this thing, and they just did just fine, and I had uh, food and water for them in here. Um, last night, it only, it got down to only 60, uh, so I didn't use the heat lamp, and they did fine. Um, so that means they should be fine out here without this mama turkey so now i'm going to move this mama turkey i'm going to put these uh, babies in here all right i moved the mama turkey now i'm gonna let this i am samani chick go out here get closer to the ground i guess oh make sure it goes okay that thing's so small it might be able to get out of the chicken wire um, you're too worried about me to check that thing out well I guess they're gonna be all right that's the turkey update. I'll see y'all later. Goose out. <laughs>